Hey, what's up guys? This is Pocket Tech and today we're going to be doing another quick tutorial on Photoshop. Now today I'm going to tell you how to make a sick profile picture like I made for my client. And as you can see, this is a pretty dope profile picture and for the Christmas season I'll also show you how to make this awesome little hat. So let's get started. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is name your uh, file in your Studio Pro Pick. Then the really important part is you do 500 by 500 pixels. Now the 500 pixels by 500, make sure it works for absolutely any profile picture you want or for Google, Twitter, YouTube, all that. Simply press OK. And there you have it. So they keep making a great Profile pictures have the text really bold and have the background a little blurred out to show the uh, letters or numbers, whatever you have, just pop out and really attract a viewer when they're scrolling and something. They're like, oh, their profile picture is professional. I will click on that link. So, first thing you want to do is choose your colors. So, this is the colors I made for the client. And as you can see, I just used a foreground and background gradient, which I think looks pretty awesome. So, we'll just choose. For the sake of this video, we'll do a Christmas theme, because you know it's almost Christmas. So we'll do a more orangey red rather than a pinkish red. We'll make our background white, uh, green, sorry. More of a... Mm, uh, let's see. There, that's a nice green. What you want to do is go over here, and you want to choose this type of gradient, not a radial, because that will show it like this. That doesn't really look so nice. You want to choose that type. I'll show you what the other types look just for the sake. That one looks kind of gross. I mean, this one's pretty cool, depending on how you pull it. But personally, this one's the best one. Just flows very nicely. You can change top to bottom, so on and so forth. So there we have we have our background. Awesome. Looks pretty awesome. We can also blur it. So you can use a filter and you can blur it. I personally like the Gaussian Blur, it just blurs things out just a little more. Alright, so we got our background, which looks pretty awesome. You can blur it if you want it, it kind of messes up the whole color scheme, but that's just my opinion. So you want to do one letter at a time, that's pretty important because, say, if you want one letter bigger, one letter smaller, you can't do it if it's on the same text layer. So you want to just click, and we'll just do Pocket Tech, just because that's the channel name. Click that button to click off of it. You just click again, write a T. There we have it. Then you want to take your P, bring it here, use Command T to transform. You're going to hit Shift to keep it in proportion, and just pull and drag till you get the size you're liking. Then double click to stop the transformation. You click here, click the T. It lets me click the T. Command T. Hold Shift to keep the whole thing in proportion. Click and drag. As you can see, all in her portion. But we're going to change the text colors. We can change that to a white. Okay. Text this uh, highlight. Change it to white. We got two awesome colors. And this is the part. This is the fun part. So first of all, we'll start with our P. You're gonna click FX down here, then you just click any one, and we can click stroke, belt and boss, but we'll go stroke, because I think stroke really makes it look kind of awesome. I personally like a four, I feel like it's great, it's right in the middle, it's pretty cool. Then you can make a drop shadow, which makes it look a little more 3D, you can do an outer glow, which I personally don't enjoy, it kind of like a yellow haze, looking like a bad Photoshop job. Again, your opinion. This is a more things when it's customizable. The inner glow doesn't do really do anything for this particular one. But the bevel and boss is really what's gonna make this a 3D like. As you can see, the sides right here are gonna pop out to make it look more 3D like. And use some contour to make it look even more 3D. And then you can just click OK. As you can see, that's looking pretty awesome. So now I have to do the same thing with our T. You just go to 4, Belvin Emboss, Contour, 
Now let me just go and battle with a boss for a second. You can switch the depth of this. You can make his depth or it's not depth as you want. I personally like to keep it right in the middle. A little less. Make sure we're on the same setting. You can adjust the angle of shading. It's really customizable, really to your preference. And then we'll do a drop shadow. Not really. Actually, Otter Glow is looking pretty good right now on that T, so we'll try it with the P right now. X. What was it? Otter Glow. So that's looking pretty awesome. Now, putting the letters where you want is pretty important. I actually kind of like it like this. Looks kind of cool. You can use Command T. If you don't want to hold Shift, you simply drag and it'll stretch out the letter. Making it look a bit bigger, but a little disproportionate, so I'll just undo that. Uh, step backward. There we go. Alright guys, so I imported my Santa hat. So that's something that's pretty important for the whole Christmas theme that I'm going for. And you want to look for a transparent cartoon one, because you want to make it look like a real one, you know? So if you want on the T, you have to put it in front. We put it on top to get in front of all the layers by simply holding down the layer after the transformation. Holding it down, bring it to the top. Making it go on the T. Actually, that looks perfect. You can make it smaller, having hanging off the edge. That's really it. But that's basically it. That's how to make a pretty awesome profile picture with 3D text lettering. If you want any more help with your YouTube channel or a chance to win a YouTube starter pack, yeah, you heard me right, with the channel banner, a profile picture, and I'll get you one of these awesome lower thirds templates right here that you should see right about now. So I want you to do just like this video, share it on Twitter, and leave a comment down below having saying why you need this, and then I'll check out your channel. And that's really it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe. And also, if you want to have your channel shown on my YouTube channel, leave a comment down below saying why your channel deserves to be in the Pocket Tech Community channel. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you all in the next video.